Hey guys! So for Cinco de Mayo, I had a little get together and I wanted to make sangria, but I've never made it before. And one of the girls said that the red wine would give her migraines, so we went with white wine. So I wanted to show you the kind of simple sangria recipe that I did, and it turned out really good. Um, I figure if you're looking for a sangria recipe, I think it'll be great for summer. It's not super heavy calories because white wine isn't that bad and then you get the fruit and you can eat the fruit so then you get a little bit of fruit flavoring as well as the intake of the vitamins so here's my little recipe super quick but I figure if I had a hard time finding a quick simple recipe other people might also so I will share it enjoy okay you need a big container and I just got this it's supposed to be for water but it worked perfectly and then I used white Moscato, and the reason why is because it's already carbonated. It's got the fizzies in it, so you don't have to add any pop. So I use strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, oranges, and some limes. And then with the limes and oranges especially, but all fruit, you want to make sure that you clean it. So I just use some Fit Produce Cleanser. So then in the container, I added in all of the raspberries. Then add in all the blackberries. And on top of that, you can add the strawberries. And then, I didn't film it, but the limes and oranges, you just slice them thinly and then put those on top. Then what you do is you take that giant bottle of Moscato and pour it over all the fruit. Put it in the fridge and let it sit for a couple hours at least. And then the Moscato will get all of that fruit flavoring. And you can pour it with the fruit in the cup or just the wine. So there you go, guys. It was a really big hit. I will say there were five of us. So even though I got the gigantic bottle of Moscato, um, once I got there and we poured a glass, I realized that it was... I think like the fruit kind of takes some of the Moscato and like holds it in. So I'm like, oh, we're going to need more. So I went and got another giant bottle like that. And even though it didn't sit in as long, what I did is by the time I got back, people had been drinking it. So I just emptied the other bottle in there, put it back in the fridge, and it was good. Also, when if you're pouring it so that the fruit doesn't come out, when you're done, you're left with wine-infused fruit that you guys can eat that night or you can save it the next day. So it turned out really good. I was proud. So um, I used more fruit than more most people do, but everyone loved it. So who cares? All right. Thanks, guys.